Hey there, it's Amy from thecrazycraftlady.com. Come craft with me while I turn some scrap drop cloth fabric from my craft stash into printed fabric bookmarks. What I do is I buy just fabric drop cloths at Home Depot and then I bleach the daylights out of them. So on like a nice day, I will put like a gallon of bleach in a tub with some water and I'll let a drop cloth sit for, you know, half a day. This one, I actually got distracted um, with my son's baseball game and it sat overnight, but no big deal. And then I just keep pieces, you know, big and small for all sorts of projects. And as you can see, like it's not super consistent. Depending on how much you bleach them, I have like two different colors of drop cloth in my craft stash. I think it also depends on like what brand you buy, but it's like the perfect kind of linen alternative to craft with. And so I'm actually going to print on some drop cloth fabric in this craft to make some bookmarks for my summer reading. So I just started with a scrap of drop cloth fabric that was a little bit bigger than an eight and a half by 11 sheet of printer paper, and then set a similarly sized piece of freezer paper right on top of the drop cloth fabric, plastic coated side facing down, and then give it a quick run over with your iron, no steam, just the iron. I don't know what it says about me that I use my iron more in my craft room than I do on my clothes, but you know. Anyway, so once you have the freezer paper fused to the drop cloth fabric, take a piece of regular printer paper and kind of trace it onto that front surface of the freezer paper. You kind of want to line the freezer paper and your tracing like up so that it's as close to with the grain of the drop cloth fabric as possible so it doesn't fray as badly. And then from here, I just use my rotary cutter and my self-healing mat to trim along those little pencil lines that I made on the freezer paper to trim my fabric freezer paper combo down to an eight and a half by 11 size so I can feed it through my printer. Now it's really, really important that you keep this as flat as possible because if the edges start to curl, it's not gonna go through your printer. Also, I would not use a fabric that is any thicker than a drop cloth. I feel like this was stretching the bounds of the abilities of my printer here. It may help after you cut it if you wanna give it like another shot of heat with the iron. If it starts to curl, give it a shot of heat and then immediately afterwards, put a heavy object right on top of it until you're ready to feed it through the printer. And then I, you just watch very carefully and run this through the printer. I will link in the video description to a couple of free printables. So if you wanna make the exact same bookmarks that I did, or if you wanna design your own, feel free. And then all you have to do is peel off that freezer paper backing and cut your bookmarks down to size. Once again, I used the rotary cutter and the self-healing mat. You can really kind of freestyle this and do whatever size bookmarks you want. And then I like to fray the edges. And for this, um, I'm not much of a seamstress, so I used, I think I used to have a seam ripping tool, but I have no idea where it went. So what I use is my weeding tool for my Cricut. You could use like a safety pin or a seam ripper, really whatever you've got, and just start to peel away a couple of rows of string to kind of fray the edges. So I like to fray all of the edges. So I did a very similar thing when I made my watercolor fabric bookmarks, did the same thing, except I painted them instead of printing them and then fray the edges as much or as little as you like. And then that's it. So here are my finished bookmarks. So like I said, there's a free printable I'm gonna to link to down below. It'll take you to my blog where you can click a button to automatically download. I did a few bookmarks with quotes about reading, and then I also did a few bookmarks with some vintage type prints on them. I do hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, happy making.